Hello everybody, this is Hallie. I'm joined here today with Sarah, our mm -hmm. most profitable macro master at this point. Is that true? That is true, girl. You wow. You are our leader on referrals at this day and time. Wow. So yeah. Huh, that's good to know. Yeah, you're just a little, little queen. I didn't you know that. Well. No, I didn't, I didn't know, know that. that. <laughs> so, um, but we are going to do our macro master highlight with you today, um, which if you guys missed our last one, this is kind of a new thing um, we're starting a series on and it is going to be um, our macro masters usually that um, we've worked with and we're just kind of going to zone in on you, talk a little bit more about you and your story, and how you came to be with us and all that and then um, get our clients a little bit more acquainted with you if they don't know you better by now. So the first question is always, tell me your story of how you found Macroholics. Okay, so um, I was on Facebook, like okay. in the middle of the night. Yes. Um, I couldn't sleep, I have anxiety, so I don't sleep well. Okay. Um, and so I was searching Facebook, really I was just on Facebook, I wasn't searching for anything, but okay. someone on Facebook had posted and asked, for weight loss help. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so, does anybody have any suggestions? What program are you doing? Mm -hmm. And some uh, and several people suggested Macroholics. Yeah. And um, so you somebody put a link and I clicked on the link. Stop. That is and so um, the first person I saw when I clicked on the link, it was like to the Facebook right. page. Uh -huh. And it was Burgundy's picture. Yeah. Okay. And you just can't. You can't ignore that. You can't ignore Burgundy's no. picture. But it made a difference to me because her last name and I recognized right, her rest, last played name because I played softball yes. mm -hmm. with Trey's sister and yes. so she was a re she became a real person. Right, 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 right. You know, so it I wasn't knew just it was, some picture. It wasn't head. just some picture. It was just it was a person that lived near me. Right. That and that knew people well. I knew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it worked. It, it was like okay, this this wow, could really work. How fun! So you like found us without knowing about us, but then when you found us, you realized you did know that I knew through us. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How cool is that? That is a good story. I love that. Okay. So now your story more of your weight loss journey, uh, like what your weight was when you started and where like you decided to maintain and how that process was and stuff like that. Okay. When I started, I weighed 159 pounds. Okay. Um, and so you should have eaten a little bit more to get to 160. Let's be, let's be real. Okay. So the number game <laughs> yes. has really played with me the whole time. I bet. Yeah. That's the hardest part for a lot Because of I'm a round numbers person. Same. That's exactly why I said you should have gained a pound. <laughs> yes. Um, so I went, I started at 159 pounds okay, okay. and I had just been doing a weight loss competition okay. with my husband. Okay. I started doing Orange Theory in September, oh, okay. and I, so I did this weight loss competition, and I lost like four pounds, and he lost like fifty pounds. Yes. Yeah, because mm -hmm. yep, yep, that's yep. how it goes. And men are the worst. Yes, mm -hmm. and so um, I was doing Orange Theory as well, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so when I started, it I don't know why it was so easy for me when I started. It's always easy at the beginning. It's just like always the game. Um, I'm a puzzle person, yep. so constantly being on my phone, putting the numbers that. in, and seeing what different things do, yep. um, it was a really easy start for me. Mm -hmm. I can tell you that I felt like, and I don't know whether it was really David or if it was you on David's phone. <laughs> Probably David at that point, but still. But he was checking in with me mm -hmm. literally every day yeah. for the first week, and I didn't mm -hmm. want to... It was a Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And he texted me and was like, why haven't you started yet? Yeah, uh -huh. And I was like, yeah. oh, I wasn't going to start till Monday. Right. Because you I just signed up on a but Thursday. Thursday. <laughs> right. I just signed up, but I didn't want to start mm -hmm. until Monday. Mm -hmm. You know, and he's like, you're just wasting time. Why not just go yeah. get, go ahead and get started? So yeah. I did. And it was really fairly easy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, and it just kind of, just kind of sunk in with you. And, yeah, yeah. It just sunk in and. I started on the 28th of February and mm -hmm. it was a so downhill almost slide. At your, almost what? at my year. At your year mark, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I can't tell you. We this on your year anniversary. We probably could have, <laughs> but I can tell you when I started, I wasn't consistent. Okay, okay. But it still was working. Okay. But I wasn't as consistent because uh -huh. spring break came. Yes. Mm -hmm. And, it was and you like, have children, right? I have three kids. Three kids, mm -hmm. like a million children. So, like, it feels like it some days. <laughs> 
of a small army yeah. of children and dogs, which I'm sure we'll get to, but yeah. Yeah. So that was, so then you, you lost what, what was your weight loss to when you decided to maintain? I haven't gone on maintenance oh, yeah, yet. Maintain. Okay. That's a story in itself. Okay. So my lowest weight was 123 pounds, Okay. but I like round numbers. Same girl. Get it. So you wanted that 120. So I was at 36 pounds. Gotcha. And then it was kind of like, ah, oh, do I go to on maintenance? I probably should go on maintenance. Mm -hmm. But that's only 36 pounds. I would really like to hit the 40, 40 pound mark. Right. But then you'll be like, but then I, but what? then that's a little iffy. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's a little too much. Right. Right. So I kind of sat in this little area mm -hmm. bubble. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I started to let myself go. Yeah. Let myself eat a little. Cause what was I going to hurt? Right. I was really in a right. good place. Right. And I just fell mm -hmm. right off that wagon. Yeah. Yeah. And I have been off that wagon yeah. Yeah. on and off, yeah. on and off, on mm -hmm. and off mm -hmm. since the first of November. Yep. Yep. Holidays and all that. And it ate struggle. my lunch. <laughs> and I ate my lunch. <laughs> and I ate more of my lunch. And now, <laughs> now I'm back up uh -huh. yes. uh, and I'm trying to work my way back down yeah. to that. Yep. And you know, like people hear that, and I think that's so important to talk about because people hear like Burgundy's story, which is amazing, right? But not necessarily the typical client. You know right. what I mean? Like right. someone that just like gets on, loses a hundred pounds, leaves it off forever, never gains. Like you know, I mean, that's just not really the common thread. Like, right. Most people are going to come on and they're going to do well, and then they're going to fall, fall off. off. And they're going to do well. And yeah. Fall off, and that's just part of the journey, especially you know, kids. Husbands like jobs. Yeah, there's so much at play there. Yeah holidays And I think a lot of you talk about like the timing of your journey Yeah, like, if you start January 1st and then you have like, you know, no spring break plans or You don't have kids or whatever then you don't need to worry about vacations until summer Right a solid six months where life of is just normal normal and, consistent mm -hmm. days yeah, Exactly, and then when you get down that's kind of the most dangerous point is that lowest weight right before the holidays? Because then you're like, oh, like it's I'm doing fine. good. It'll and come I'm right back off. Not worried it's about not a big it. deal. Yes. 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 That yes. and Fridays. Yeah. Fridays for me, I can do well. I don't do well on the weekends, <laughs> but Fridays really get me. Okay, how come? Because it's adjustments day. Okay. And on my good adjustment right. weeks, right. I'm like. Then you have a whole week. I have a whole week. Yeah, I have a whole game. week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so Fridays, yes. I tend to go way oh, overboard. Interesting. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I got to play catch up. The right. Rest of the and week. then it's frustrating because you feel like you're not making progress. Right. Because by the time you, it feels like forever when you get back to adjustments day and you're yes. like, I haven't lost anything. Yes. And it's like, no, you have, but it's really hard to put your head in that space when you have that Friday mess up. Like, yes. And then you're kicking yourself yep. because you let yourself go mm -hmm. yep. and trying to catch back and up. And that's also why logging your overages is so important because even me personally, like if I go over on a Friday, by the next Friday, I'm like, I've been doing good for like a month. Like why have I not lost a weight? Like, yes. <laughs> well, and like this week, I can tell you starting on Friday, uh -huh. this last Friday, I went over, right. but I didn't log it. Uh huh. And I know Friday and Saturday I went over, but I didn't log it. Right. And so my my screenshots look really pretty. Right, exactly. But I'm up. Exactly. Mm -hmm. and, and now we're here at Adjustments Day. You genuinely forget. Like, I've done good all week. What are you talking about? Like, I didn't, like, my weight's not moving. Like, no, it is. Like, yeah, no, it is. Uh -huh. I'm yeah. just, mm -hmm. yep, that's such a struggle. I totally get that. Yeah. For sure. Huh. Well, that's interesting. I don't feel like people really talk about that. You know, like, that's something that's probably a bigger struggle for people than we realize is that. Friday game of like, oh, I have all week to get a new low. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know, I play that so. game with myself mm -hmm. yeah. every totally, week. Totally. Same. I mean, I used to. Now I get really frustrated if I do poor on Fridays because I have such a hard time logging if I go over. Like that's my hardest struggle. Because, okay. Why? Because I like, why do I log it? Like, Is it the <laughs> shame of it? It's because for me, really, I mean, it definitely plays a part because if I would be lying, if I said it wasn't the shame, but it is kind of part of that, like. Like, if I know I'm going over, then I know I'm going to gain and like, it makes sense to me. So like, why do I need to like search for a hot dog? I know I ate a hot dog, like whatever, you know? Yeah. But I, you forget and you realize, you don't realize how bad it is. Oh, you're fine. You don't realize how bad it is like to go over if you only went over 
300 calories, whatever, it's no big deal until you go over 300 calories three days in a row and that's 900 calories. Oh yeah, no, I don't go over 300 yeah. calories. I don't stop at 300 right. calories. Once right. I'm over, I am like, mm -hmm. well, I already ruined the day. It's not an A plus. Right. I'm an all or nothing. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. So if it's not going to be an A plus, I yep. might, as real, might as well really right. take might advantage. Might as well get an entire carton of ice cream. Yes. Yeah. Same. Yes. Totally get it. For sure. Yes. And so that's another struggle. I think that people, um, you know, are, they did it. They did a study not too long ago um, with people, and it's in one of these articles that I've shared before. But it, um, they interviewed people before they ate and asked how much they would eat. Then they gave them their food, and then they did some other testing things, and then they came back and told them to log what they had eaten. Uh -huh. And almost all of them logged fifty percent less. Of course. Than what they had eaten yeah. like an hour before. And like, so they talked about how like we really are truly terrible as human beings at recounting food, you know? Well, and, and the so, reality of it is we don't even, we really don't know. Because right. I can tell you before I started Macroholics, every single day, I would drop my kids off at school and I would go through the roses to Oof. go line. Oof. And I would get a breakfast bowl. Mm hmm. At Roses. Yep. And I thought it was healthy. Yep. Oh yeah, that's so common. Because yeah. it was eggs. Right. And sausage. And, and what's cheese. Wrong with that? There wasn't any bread in that. <laughs> yeah. And it's literally thirteen hundred it something is. calories. It is. Yeah. That fat those high fat things. I mean like I can never, I loved Sonic before I started doing macrolytics. And have you ever looked at how rude Sonic's menu is? <laughs> like an ice cream cone from Chick-fil-A is like 170. An ice cream cone from Sonic is like 370. I know. I'm like, why? It's I know. The same thing. I know. I but pick no. my I choose my restaurants based on their hundred percent queso calorie count. Fact. Fact. Love it. That is a new we need to make an article. How to choose your restaurants. <laughs> Google can sell nutrition facts. Yeah, yeah. Just in there. Okay, so yes, I love your, your weight loss journey. There's a lot of insight there that I think is really common, and I love being able to talk about it. Um, so this kind of leads into the next question about what's been the most challenging part of your journey, which I'm assuming, you know, we've kind of hit on different things that you said have been a struggle, but we, can you pinpoint, like, you, like you said, logging overages or Logging overages. Like, Holidays. Yes. Cold weather. <laughs> Safe. <laughs> Cold weather. Various um, weather changes really throw me. Yeah, away. and yeah. I and I'm an emotional eater. Mm -hmm. And and you know yes. this holiday season, there you know several things were really yeah, stressful. We about that this holiday. Mm -hmm. yeah. Really stressful. Mm -hmm. So yes, I, those are my. Yeah, and a lot of people I think like I have anxiety, and so it's like not a it's not a, an eating that's like. I eat when I'm anxious. I actually don't eat when I'm anxious. Uh -huh. But when I feel better, then I eat all of the things. Yes, 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 we're celebrating. <laughs> exactly, yes. yes. It's the celebratory eating. Yes. <laughs> like if I had a busy day or whatever, like that's when I want to eat bad. Like yeah. if I'm having the hard time, I'm doing fine. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> things are good, but I get fat. <laughs> no, yeah, I, no, I, I get it. Yep. So I get it. I totally get that. So um, the next thing is like, Kind of the opposite of that. Like, what are the things that have been the easier things about macrolides? The things that you're more proud of? Like the challenges that you've overcome with your journey? <sighs> the easier things about macrolides. Um, being able to get on the Facebook page mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and get in the community. Yes. I can tell you, like, since I've fallen off the right, wagon because right. of the shame. Mm -hmm. It's really not shame. Just. I feel like I'm in Self, trouble. Self-inflicted. Yeah, yeah, like I feel like I'm in trouble or I'm disappointing yes. someone else mm -hmm. because I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do. Absolutely. Uh, but getting back in there. And right. I probably should say this, I'm, it's not answering your question, but <laughs> because I'm trying to get back in there, uh -huh. yeah. I went back to this time last year, uh -huh. what was on the page this right. time last year, right? to see what I could find that and was helpful. Was there something that you had seen yes. or done? Or <laughs> because it was like, what has changed? Right, why is this different? Uh -huh. um, and so I went back to last year's pay, mm -hmm. you know, the mm -hmm. stuff the, that was the content from last year, and there were so many more mm -hmm. helpful things mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this time last year. Yeah, yeah. So like uh, the little buff. Oh right. Uh -huh. Okay. And that's funny because that's kind of made a resurgence. Yes. Now I wonder if that had something to do with you going back. <laughs> I didn't. I don't think I commented on it, but yeah. it was like, ah, oh, yes. Yes. I, I should pull that out. Right. Um. And that's huge, and that's something that we've done with people before. If they 
you know, have been doing for a while and then started struggling, we go back and look at their food diary from a year ago and what were you eating? Like, what were you feeling sad? How were you training? You know, yeah. like, were you doing more training or different training or less training? Yeah. You know? So, yeah. Um, that's, so that's going back yeah, has been helpful, sure. going mm -hmm. backwards. Um, and trying to reimmerse myself in yes. the community for sure has been yes. helpful. Mm -hmm. Um, and I guess just trying to find somebody like my sister, cause right. she's, she's my, my person mm -hmm. to yeah. hold me accountable, Yes, uh -huh. yep. you know, and constantly having somebody say, Oh, how'd you do today? Oh, right. good. I'm so proud of you for yeah, that. Exactly. And that makes a difference. Someone that you don't feel shame with when you do struggle. Yeah. You know, cause yeah. that's so important. Yeah. Cause she's the first person that says, Girl, it's okay. Exactly. It's okay. Tomorrow's exactly. a new day, and I know you're going to get back to right. it. When you're ready, you'll get to it. Exactly. And you believe her. Yes. You know, I mean, we can say that all day, but if you believe that we're upset, right. th that's all that matters. To right. You. you know what I mean? So, right. having that person that you can say, like, yo, I fell off, and they're like, cool, like, no big deal, and you believe them, yeah. that's huge. Like, yeah. that support and that level of, like, um, acceptance, I think is yeah. really important for people. So, and I strive to be that for people because if you don't know, I'm not perfect. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I love to be able to tell people like, truly, I'm not mad that you went over. Like, I'm kind of jealous, honestly. But like, yeah. I'm just letting you know that like, if you want this, like I want it for you and I'm here right. to help you get there. But like, if you want to eat the queso, eat the queso. Eat the queso. Like, that's good yeah. with me. And tell me about it, and I'm sad that I'm not eating the queso. So right. Like, I get it. There's so much love there. And like, I think that that's something that's important for people to hear is like, we are not mad. Like, uh -huh. at all. Like, yeah. even in the slightest. Like, and I think that that's something that's evolved with macroholics because I would say a year ago, there was a lot more of the, like, um, air of like, if you don't do it, like you should, like, I think David's message differs from mine a lot in the sense that David is kind of an all or nothing person. Uh -huh. And so he really pushes that agenda of like, if you fall off, you got to get, get back, back on. on. And that's like, you know, you got to get in it. And I'm more like, there's going to be days where you're off and uh -huh. that's okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, let's just try to be consistent and work in a general trend towards yeah. what we want to be. And I'm more of the balance and he's more of the reckless. And that's yeah. kind of how our marriage works and how our business works and how yeah. everything works. So like, I think I want people to hear that from my side of things. Like, you know, if you find that pressure of like, you know, do it all like too much, then like you always have my side. That's like, do it most of the time. <laughs> and I think there are some, I think there are some times when you could benefit from both or either. Well, and like, like for me, mm -hmm. we found out that my daughter had Asperger's yes. in November. Yes. It was just a really hard month. Yes. Just a really hard Absolutely. month. And I, th I needed to just sit in it. Mm -hmm. Totally. To get it out of my system. Absolutely. And I think that there are times where you might just need to sit. sit in it yep. and see what it feels like. Absolutely. Yeah. A hundred percent. And then, and then have something climb to climb yourself to out to get out. Yes. Of. Yes. And then, and then find a way to climb out of it for sure. And I love that you did that and that you could do that and that you felt safe and loved enough yeah. to come back when yeah. you were ready. And I, that's a hundred percent what I want back in college. There's people. so much to say about the support. Yes. And that's what I and that's what I tell people all the time. Like macroholics has very little to do with what we teach you nutritionally. Yeah. Like that is not why macroholics is successful. That's not why I want it to be successful. Right. I don't care if you eat carrots or not. Right. Ever. Like right. I care that you feel like loved and supported and that you have a place to talk and join us in yeah. our struggles and that's what's important to me. Yeah. So yeah. I think that's so Good to hear. So thank you for that. Um, okay. So moving on to more, uh, concrete things. What is your most eaten macroholics meal? Like Chick-fil-A. Grilled oh, nuggets. Yes. I mean, honestly, yeah. right now, if I could, if I would rather not ever eat another grilled nugget, right? But it is what it is. <laughs> I mean, and Chipotle. Same. Oh my God. Chipotle. And me, me I want to, I want to vomit every time I walk into <laughs> Chipotle right now, the smell, I but the reality of it is, is that's what works for yep, me. Exactly. Me too. I know. And they, that's what David says. Like, cause David is all about convenience, but he'll eat many different things. And I like, I just need to get my protein before four o'clock or I will cry. Yeah. So <laughs> I, I have to go to Chick-fil-A and get a double chicken bowl every day. So I don't cry at four o'clock. Then yeah. that's what we have to do. Yeah. So, and I yeah. totally relate. So. Yes, I think this podcast is probably boring for anyone that doesn't eat Chick-fil-A and Chipotle, but <laughs> you know, if you don't, I don't know, ask Cass, but I actually had somebody ask me the other day, how do I do macroholics? And don't tell me eat Chick-fil-A and Chipotle. <laughs> I was like, like I got, I have nothing. I, I don't have anything for you. 
<laughs> you have to eat somewhere else. I don't know. Yeah, because I don't cook can you at do all. It tell me. Yeah, because I don't cook at all. Same. So me either. I Brittany mean, and Cass cook. You can always refer them that way because they're they're my like people that actually live life in a semi-normal manner. Yeah, we don't. No, in my house. Nope. Same. Me either. So okay, so we got that. Now, what is your um, favorite book? Oh. Or are you not a reader? Oh no, I'm a reader. Okay, good. I'm a big reader. Okay. Um, maybe currently. I read a lot of filth. Oh, say. Dirty. Love it. Dirty books. Yes. <laughs> um, uh, but I can't think of the one. My absolute favorite book. Okay. Is okay. Say Goodnight Gracie. I okay. read it in sixth grade. I've since reread it, but my daughter is named is that Gracie. Why? That's okay. where I got her name oh, from. Oh, love that. Yes, okay. Say Goodnight Gracie is a great book, but Grown Up Book is, yes. I can't think of the name, but it's by Stephen Curtis Chapman's wife. Okay. Um, and it's about the loss of their child and her ad adopting from China. Oh, I cannot think wow. of the name. I wish that I could, but it's a really good book. Well, let me know because I want to read it. Yeah. Cause that's my thing. I want to read everyone's favorite book. So. But, you know, there's just a line or two in there that were really life changing. For yeah. Me. Well, I'm going to Google it or I'll get with you and get it. Yeah. I want to read it because I'm a book nerd and that sounds like right up my alley. Yeah. So. I think you would like it. Okay. Now what, what's your favorite movie <sighs> or do you have a favorite movie? Because some people that are book people aren't movie people, but No, like, I can't say that I have a favorite movie. Really? Interesting. Okay. Um, I don't like to watch movies more than once. If okay. I've seen a movie, I probably Probably won't watch it again. Okay. Um, I want to see A Star Is Born. <gasps> Ooh, you haven't seen it? I have not oh, seen it. I've been oh, playing the soundtrack oh, in my car. It's so good. Um, it, is, it is downright sad. Like, it is downright punch you in your soul sad. So, uh... If I had to pick a favorite movie, I'd probably pick Bridesmaids, just because I don't oh, care for super sad. Super funny. Super funny. Just because I'm not in that place, but Bridesmaids, yes. you just, you can watch it over and yes. over again, and Agreed. it's fine. We're gonna go with that. That's a good one. Okay, now who is your favorite person? Oh, my husband. Oh, that's sweet. Oh yeah, that was he's, so quick. He, without a doubt, he's oh, my, my favorite gosh. person on her. That's so sweet. Yeah. Why? Oh, because he's just, he loves me so much. Oh, that's so And he loves me so well. Oh, love that. Here, yeah. you cry. Okay, let's hurry. Move on. Tell me something unique or exciting about your future, your past, or just yourself. Oh. I know, that's a hard one. You should have given me the question I beforehand. I do that. I do that. Good idea. Okay, yeah. unique or exciting about yes. my past. Okay, exciting about my past, my future. Yes. My sisters and I and my mom, we take a girls trip every okay. every summer and okay. we're going to Costa Rica yeah. and I've never been. Whoa. Are you going to one this of those summer resorts? Girl, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the details. I know we're going to an all-inclusive resort. Oh my gosh. And that's all so I know. Fun. So that's exciting about my that future. That's exciting. That's why I have to get back to my lowest See? Weight. That's your motivation. Yeah. That's your excitement. I love it. Yeah. I love that you're going to be with your sisters and your mom. That sounds so much yeah. fun. But, okay, that is all the questions. So we'll okay. wrap up our podcast. Awesome. And move on to our video that will be on our YouTube channel at some point. <laughs> we will... Um, Catch you guys on that. And if you have any questions, please let us know. And I'll link Sarah's um, Facebook profile in the uh, diddly deal at the bottom of the podcast. <laughs> and you can um, <laughs> find her and tell her how amazing she is. And we will catch you guys next week. Thanks.